the camera's a little too tilted down. That should be better, hopefully. I also don't know how windy it is. So, that's an experiment for later, I guess. But I'll still talk just in case if it uh, picks up my voice. Anyway, right now we're in Queens. I think the plan for today is to get to Brooklyn. And then maybe afterwards get to Manhattan. I should have put my headphones in, but there you go. So right now, like I said earlier, we're in Queens. Um, I like riding in Brooklyn. I also like riding Manhattan, but Manhattan could be a little crazy sometimes depending where you go. I like to go to Brooklyn, right along the edge, um, over the Pulaski, and then once I get you know, you know, the bridges that go to Manhattan, I'll either take the Williamsburg Bridge or most likely the Brooklyn Bridge. Because that's my favorite one. But we'll see how that goes. And then it also gets dark pretty early nowadays, uh, as usual, for the winter time. But once I get to uh once I get over the Pulaski Bridge pretty much sorry pretty much smooth sailing get there before it gets dark uh, I don't mind riding back in the dark but I don't want to have people worry about me so the best I could do is at least get to Brooklyn and if it's too dark I'll come back but if I can get to Manhattan um, I don't want to be there too long, but I would like to at least, you know, be on a main avenue. First is a little too uh, bike laney for me. I say that while I'm in a bike lane, nothing wrong with them, but sometimes the street's better. Fifth Avenue could be crazy. I kind of like crazy, so I might go Fifth Avenue. Um, we'll figure out. I gotta get there first. Hello, sir. At least he didn't swing open his door. That would have been bad. This is like my second time recording while I've been riding my bike. And um, I wanted to do this for a while. I started watching. Uh, there's, I feel like one main guy I watch that will do this, and his name is Terry. And, um, you know, Terry V, but he'll, he'll do this in New York a lot. Uh, he'll record and he'll go out with people and chase them down and whatever. And it's always been cool for me to watch. It actually got me into riding more. And so now that I've taken time and I think gotten a lot better with, uh, Riding in the streets and riding in the city in general. I decided, well, let me grab a GoPro. 
Let me just see what it's about, see how I like it. So far, it's pretty enjoyable. And I feel like, um, I like so much watching it that maybe someone would like watching me. We'll see how that goes. Either way, I feel like having my rides videotaped would be pretty cool for me. And I'm not exactly comfortable talking while I pass people. But I try. I do try. Good thing, at least for now, it's a good thing is that I could pretty much take this bike lane all the way to the Pulaski Bridge because right now I'm in Long Island City and uh, once I get there there's some but it's not as much probably could have went to give people room because I don't really feel comfortable being right on someone's tail especially if I don't know them some people don't really care I'm not those people anyway now that it's not really as much of a bike lane I'm pretty much be taking this until I get to Pulaski which is to my left I might want to take a left here and kind of ran out of time for that. I'll just take a left on the next one, I guess. Now I'm going to be stuck for a second, at least. I'm going to go Find your opening. Okay. It seems like they're going to the same place I am. So, unfortunately, gonna have to follow people. I'll definitely be able to get in front of them. It's not a problem, but it's uh, just a little weird to me. I could have probably take, overtaken them back on the street, but. I'm just gonna 
maybe. Might have an opening. Definitely have an opening. Thank you. Okay. Wasn't too bad. It's definitely a lot harder <laughs> to breathe with a mask on, no duh. But I still do it sometimes. So now we're in Brooklyn. I mean, you can probably tell we're over the bridge. Um, this isn't really a tour or anything. Some people do tours on their bike. I wouldn't mind, but I'm still kind of like learning where I live. It's kind of sad really, but I'm getting better. I definitely don't know streets, but I know how to get places. But yeah, right now we're going west I'm gonna be going south in a second when I make us left but we're going to the edge left side edge of Brooklyn upper uh, upper left and then we're gonna be going down the, the side of it which I just find the most relaxing way to get through here um, I do like chaos a little bit but not when uh now when I'm just fresh off the bridge, I like to go back here and I got a bike lane for a little while. So this is my second time recording a ride, like I said. Um, Terry B is definitely the biggest inspiration I have for this. Uh, I don't know why, it's just the, the look of the videos, the feel you get from the GoPro and from watching someone else go and ride, maybe somewhere you are or you can't be. It's always pretty cool to me. really hoping that the audio is fine I have yet to test the effects of wind on this GoPro but if I know any camera which I do most likely you're gonna be hearing a lot of wind hopefully though you can still hear the sounds of I don't know the streets the cars hear me talk I guess we'll see eventually I'm gonna have to get a uh, an external microphone probably um, if you're watching this you probably already subscribed to my channel for some other I don't know content I've ever made but this is completely different from what I've ever done um, if you don't subscribe, I'm not going to tell you to because that's weird. But if you don't, you don't know that I've been on YouTube for a while. I just never really have went anywhere. I don't really intend to either. Kind of just make stuff that I like with my friends usually. But today, a little different. Um, this is just me being completely me alone. Which, honestly, the most me I could be is probably alone. And no one's ever really seen um, where I go, how I get there, how I ride my bike specifically, the way like, I navigate traffic or situations. So I thought it'd be cool. Um, I used to make a lot of gaming videos and things of that sort. And then I slowly started streaming on Twitch for a while. Same kind of idea, more games, more stuff like that. So 
right now. Uh, I think you can see it. I'm not really sure. But up ahead is the Williamsburg Bridge. And um, we're not going to be taking that one. It seems like I still have a lot of daylight left. So we're not going to be taking that one. But if I keep going, uh, eventually we'll hit the Manhattan Bridge. And right next to that is the Brooklyn Bridge. And might as well take the Brooklyn. I enjoy it a lot more. And honestly, not as much of an uphill, but a hell of a descend. So I'm guessing um, coming back over it probably sucks. I know that I only have about an hour and a half of uh, storage, like literal hour and a half of video, and then I run out. So until I upgrade that, the plan is to get decently far, and if it cuts off, well, that's when you know it died. But this is the Windsor Bridge, as you can see. I don't know how well you could see it when I leaned up, but obviously we've been approaching it. We're going right under it. Um, so that's the indication we're in Williamsburg, of course. Got my man on the e-bike pass, that's okay. But yeah, we're in Williamsburg at the moment. We'll be following this edge pretty much, just biking all the way down until we get to the bridge that we actually want to take. At this point, it's mostly memory. I don't know streets, and I don't know neighborhoods enough to tell others where I'm at, but I know where I'm at on a map technically and I know how to get from here to the other bridge you need to get to this is a lot of just doing it over and over remembering I've been doing this for a while now probably I don't know two years at least maybe two and a half years of just at least once a week I'll go over a pretty decent sized ride over the years it's gotten longer and longer um it used to be maybe like half an hour now i go out for who knows i used to get up at like five to do these because people are non-existent at 5 a.m and it is a great time to go for a ride but not in the winter in the winter, a 5 a.m. ride is death, and that sucks. Summertime, though, highly recommend that. 5 a.m. ride, 6 a.m. Right as the sun comes up, it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Not only visually, but there's nobody out. You can't get hit. You can't um, hear pretty much anybody or anything except the sounds of the world itself. So it's, it's pretty great. So right now, I couldn't really tell you where we're at in Brooklyn. Not too far from Williamsburg, of course. It's only been about, I don't know, three to five minutes since we were in Williamsburg or by the bridge. So I would say we're still pretty close. We'll be taking a right up here though. That'll pretty much lead us um, towards the other bridges. <laughs> and she almost wasn't looking, so that's a little dangerous. That's the biggest thing about New York is uh, people here just don't, they don't look, um, they walk around kind of in a daze. I don't know if that's everywhere. I mean, with phones and everything, it's kind of everywhere. But people here specifically, 
uh, seem to have a real problem with that. And not even when it's being distracted by their phone, they just kind of walk out into uh, bike lanes and into streets. They don't really pay attention to traffic. If you live here, you know. So then we're just taking this pretty much straight to uh, to the bridges. And then it gets a little weird once you get over there, trying to find your way to the bridge. I couldn't even describe it to you of how I get there. You just have to watch. <laughs> uh, it's one of those things. It's just in my memory. And when I see certain streets and certain corners, I know when to turn. Like I said, it's just kind of from how long I've been doing this. And before I got into it so heavily recently, um, I never really used to go this far from home on my own. It's been kind of like a way of having freedom and having, you know, time to yourself to think and maybe listen to music, which I can't believe I'm not doing right now. I realize I kind of bounce a lot between different topics when I'm out here riding. Um, other people do it too. I don't think it's just me, but when you're only talking to yourself, or I guess not talking to yourself, but talking to a camera, it's kind of, you find yourself saying one thing and it leads to another, or you just kind of talk about whatever you're thinking. And uh, it's a very new thing to me. At the moment, I have my mask down. That part of me is telling me to put it up when I get near people. And another part of me is telling me I'm going fast enough that it doesn't really make a difference. And people aren't in my face, they're just passing. So I'm just gonna kinda, you know, continue based off of how I feel. If I feel like putting it up, I'm just gonna put it up. So this is a really nice part of Brooklyn. I've uh, rode around to the left that way in general before, like I've gone over there, which is more like the center. As you can see, Brooklyn Bridge. I have to kind of get used to judging when I should point things out. Probably should do it a little earlier. Uh, I think. Okay, no. I was about to say, I think I have to go in the street, but I'm okay. We are good. But I've gone into Brooklyn more, like in the center, in this area. And it seems pretty nice. Um, Brooklyn's pretty big, a lot bigger than Manhattan. Um, I don't know if it's bigger than Queens, probably. At least the same size, but if I had to guess, it's bigger than Queens. So I've never really been most of Brooklyn. Um, I kind of want to. There's a spot that I want to check out. That's Luigi's Pizza. I think that's what it is. Luigi's. Apparently one of the best pizza places in Brooklyn. I can beat this light. But apparently it's one of the best places in Brooklyn to get pizza. Um, it's kind of hard to land at a pizza place in New York that's not very good. I say that, but people obviously find them. I would love to go over there. It's kind of deep though. Pretty sure it's past the Brooklyn Bridge. And you know, when you're going like north to south, that's way past from what I remember. But I do know I have to take a left here. I forgot about that. Sometimes you don't find yourself memorizing streets. Instead, you memorize just places. 
um, probably not good, but at least you know where to go. I feel like I'm gonna run out of things to talk about, but people don't really watch these to listen to people, I don't think, so I don't really know if it's something I should care about as much. I don't have to make it right here. And the street's a little busy, but I don't know. I guess I'll judge it off of when I get here. If I should go on the sidewalk or not. I could probably take the street. If you could see that, you might be able to. Uh, the bridge is over there, Manhattan Bridge. It's a nice bridge. It's not anything to ride home about. So from what I remember, it's somewhere around here. I just don't, okay, left, got it. Signs help so much, man. Even if you're from here, the problem is, now getting there. See, I know I've gotten to Brooklyn Bridge before easier than this. I've never uh, gotten to the bridge like this. So I guess I definitely forgot how to get there on my own. 